Well, there's now less than two hours left in this year's historically short red snapper season. Yeah, Local 15's Christina Zverjeko was there as anglers scrambled to get their last fishing trips in. Christina? Greg, these were extremely anticipated nine days for the Gulf of Mexico fishermen. And for most of them, it was also the busiest nine days of the year. Hook them, get them, reel it up, 120 feet, get on it and go. It was a perfect day for some red snapper. But unfortunately, all great things must come to an end, including the red snapper season. The last day of our really long season, all of nine days, so it pretty much sucks. Gary Goodwin is a charter boat captain at Zeke's Landing in Orange Beach. And for him, it's been nine days of nonstop fishing. Slept about three hours a night, trying to cram in every bit of fishing we can uh, in our short little nine days. So trying to make a year's salary in nine days. And Captain Goodwin wasn't the only one staying busy. Nine days, we've had every boat booked literally twice a day. And hands down, no questions asked. That is by far the busiest we've been all year. And it's the busiest we will be. Because of the short season, charters will be taking a big financial hit. Some potentially losing their businesses altogether. Because fishing for anything else other than red snapper they say is becoming a challenge. You can catch them anywhere from two miles to 70 miles. Every, wherever you go, there's snappers all over the place. They're going to start eating all the other fish and there won't be any other fish left because the gulf will be overrun by a red snapper. A glimpse of hope for all charter boats who rely on red snapper business is that next year the season could be longer thanks to a data collection program that was piloted this year. Live in Baldwin County Bureau, Christina Zvercheco, Local 15 News. Christina, thank you.